Hello, and welcome to module 16 of setting up a journal in OJS 3.3, the Static Pages plugin. Static pages are additional HTML content pages that are not part of the basic OJS package, but will become part of your website if, for example, you wanted to add an information page about an upcoming conference, and this tool would provide you with the capability to do so. To activate static pages, log in through your dashboard through the top right corner of your journal's homepage. On the left-hand navigation menu, let's go to the website settings. Here, we'll go to the plugins tab. Now we can scroll down or use the search bar to look for the static pages plugin. To activate the static pages plugin, tick on the box. Let's click on the expansion arrow to expose the Edit Add Content button. Let's click on it. And now we'll see that a new tab has been created under the website settings. This page will list all the static pages created in your journal. We currently have none, but we can create a new one by clicking on the Add Static Page button. The path is the text that will be used to create the permanent URL of this page and we recommend using, when naming, best practices of a brief alphanumeric series of characters in lowercase with no spaces and no special characters. The title of the page is what will appear in your web browser tab or window head and depending on the layout will also appear on the top of the page. The content box is a rich text editor into which you can enter your page content. Use the preview button at the bottom of the page to view how your content will look like once published on your website. When you're satisfied, click on Save. You'll see that your new page has been added to the table of static pages. Clicking on the Path hyperlink will redirect you to the page on your website. Clicking on the expansion arrow exposes the edit and delete buttons. Pages can be added, edited and deleted at any time through this page. This concludes our overview of the static pages. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next module.